The reopening of the 8th Uzhen Theater Festival has proven that the theatrical world is slowly embracing the new norm. As the only physical theater event open to the public worldwide, many are considering this the calm after the storm, with organizers rethinking on how to keep professionals and theater goers coming back for their fix post-pandemic. Grand celebration for avant-garde dramas and performing arts. The Ujian Theater Festival has made a strong comeback a year after its delay. From specially invited plays, street carnivals, theater market, there's a wide array of performances and interactive activities to enjoy. The emerging young artist competition, an important fixture of the event, and workshops and forums also provide platforms for young artists to roll out their shows and to exchange ideas about theater performance. The pandemic is both a regret and an opportunity. Two years since the last festival, we have accumulated so much energy. Everyone pays attention to this year's plays, which are all from China. So it's a great opportunity for our actors. We also have a screening of the works of masters of foreign theater festivals this time. Those are from the world's top play directors and teams. The Wujian Theatre Festival is not detached from the most advanced developments of the entire international theatre play. The festival was initiated in 2013 and has grown into one of China's largest celebrations of theatrical art, featuring performances happening both indoors and outdoors over 10 days. When we founded the festival, the dream was to create a window where the world could see China and China could see the world through the lens of theatre. We hope such a festival will allow the world to see the culture, the self-confidence, the goodwill and the beauty of Chinese. I think this is particularly important. Just like the image on the official poster, the 8th Wujian Festival was like a bamboo shoot. With a strong vitality, it has experienced a rebirth after the outbreak of COVID-19 and ready for more challenges. Shen Li, CGTN.